I got a succulent Lowe's haul for you. Look what I picked up. Some perlite. Okay, this was only four something. And then I got, this is usually the soil that I always get. The palm, cactus, and citrus. It's also good for succulents. This was under <coughs> five dollars too. I think it was like four ninety-seven. <coughs> so both the perlite and the organic soil both were ten dollars under ten dollars. Okay, so I've been using the alcohol, as you know, to get my mealy bugs, but I wanted to try this. This was under five bucks as well, and I just wanted to see how this was gonna go. This is organic. It says it kills millibugs on contact. So I'll let you know and keep you posted if this works. I picked up some of this at Lowe's. It is from their Garden Treasures collection. This is like some sort of moss. I got it because I picked up this from a flea market and I'm going to line these baskets with this moss to make a hanging um, succulent arrangement for outside in my backyard hanging on one of my trees. I picked up this cactus that I do not have to add to my um, collection. This is called the Bunny Ears Cactus and I got this for like nine something. So between this, the cactus, the two, um, the soil and the um, perlite and this all for 30 bucks. So if you ever want to start um, your succulent arrangement, go ahead and go to Lowe's because you can get good deals. It's not that expensive. So if you're thinking this hobby would be too pricey, the soil and the perlite go a long way. And um, this is always fun if you want to make some arrangements, but you need um, and you want to use a, bit, a basket of some sort that has holes and you don't want to lose soil from watering, this um, kind of moss would be good well hopefully you like my haul I just want to show you that so um, I also want to show you we added some we added some cement to my backyard so check this out okay so you see this we're gonna eventually stain everything but right now from the different colors you can see exactly where we added the um, cement so let me move back here let me just show you. So we added all of this cement to the side of the house, okay, in the backyard, because all of that was grass, but we wanted it to be more, more cement. We added it on this side, and we're still gonna add some more cement, so that's cool. See, see the darker color, that's all the newer cement because our backyard is pretty huge and my husband doesn't want to keep on mowing it so much. And then we added it all the way right here. So we're connecting it. Look at this. See? Looks so nice and big. It just gives entertaining. But we're also going to add another four feet on this side. Still going to have the same like curls um, moves like grooves or whatever on this side uh, four feet more on this side and it's gonna look right really nice because eventually what we're gonna do to this backyard see so it's gonna come all the way back out here all the way right here all the way to like right here we're also gonna add a mowing strip I'll show you where we added it on the other side of the house but see eventually we're gonna get to right here and we're gonna get steps and have all of this be where we step up and all of this will be um, cement back here to where we can, you know, entertain, set up tables back here. Hopefully you get like what I'm trying to talk about. Right here, we added this cement, which is called a, uh, a mowing strip, I believe. And I'm gonna start planting succulents in between my trees right here because while they're still babies and they're not like overgrown I can put succulents and display but we did the mowing strip all the way in the back of the house 
all the way to the side right here. So this is where I'm gonna just start adding more succulents. My husband is moving all of the water drip systems. It's gonna look so nice. But see, all of this, all of this. And then on the other side, you know, which would be considered flower beds, is where I'm going to plant my plants and succulents. So, yeah, that's a little vlog of my backyard. And hopefully it inspires you to show some love to your yard for whatever space you have, whether it's big or whether it's small. Um, be creative and explore your green thumb and garden style by um, utilizing what you do have. Well, I just wanted to share with you. Hopefully this um, video encourages you to watch some of my other ones that I've posted. So until the next video, God bless. Bye.